mis hijos te suplen. With the recent announcement of the official title as The Passion of the Christ Resurrection, the buzz around Mel Gibson's epic has reached a fever pitch. But the latest update on the film's IMDb page has fans even more intrigued. In a surprising move, the title was tweaked to The Passion of the Christ Resurrection Part 1 in early November 2023, hinting at a multi-part extravaganza. And if Jim Caviezel's words are anything to go by, we might be in for a trilogy. It might be two films, it could be three, but I think it's two, Caviezel teased, keeping us all on the edge of our seats. But hold on to your sandals, because the confirmation of The Passion of the Christ 2 is the cherry on top of this biblical cake. Filming is set to kick off in spring 2023, with Caviezel himself confirming that the script has been locked and loaded since September 2020. And if his enthusiasm is anything to go by, we're in for a wild ride. It's going to be the biggest film in world history, Caviezel declared, setting the bar sky high. Behind the scenes, Gibson and Randall Wallace have been hard at work crafting the script, with Wallace expressing his long-held desire to continue the story. The passion is the beginning, and there's a lot more story to tell, Wallace remarked back in 2016. And with evangelical audiences still buzzing about the original film, there's a palpable sense of anticipation for what's to come. As Wallace put it, the evangelical community considers The Passion the biggest movie ever out of Hollywood, and they kept telling us that they think a sequel will be even bigger. The Passion of the Christ Resurrection seems like a natural progression considering the foundational belief of Christianity in Jesus' death and resurrection. The brief glimpse of the resurrected Jesus at the end of the first film hinted at the possibility of exploring this pivotal event further in the sequel. However, reports suggest that the resurrection itself may not take center stage. Instead, the focus could shift to the three days between Jesus' death and resurrection, a period where many Christians believe he descended into hell. This approach opens up intriguing possibilities for storytelling, delving into the spiritual realm and the cosmic battle between good and evil. While some scenes in the original film were not directly from the Bible, drawing from sources like Catholic visionaries Mary of Jesus of Agrida and Anne Catherine Emmerich add layers of interpretation and imagination to the narrative. Emmerich's vision of the harrowing of hell, where Jesus confronts the forces of darkness and proclaims victory, adds a compelling dimension to the story. However, it's worth noting that such interpretations are not universally accepted among Christians, leading to debates and disagreements within the faith community. If Mel Gibson chooses to focus on the harrowing of hell, he may encounter resistance from certain evangelical groups that adhere strictly to biblical scripture. Nevertheless, the inclusion of these visionary elements could deepen the film's thematic richness and spark thought-provoking discussions about faith, salvation, and the nature of Christ's victory over death. Whether the Passion of the Christ Resurrection leans heavily on biblical accounts or incorporates visionary interpretations, it has the potential to captivate audiences and ignite contemplation about the profound mysteries of the Christian faith. The anticipation surrounding the Passion of the Christ Resurrection continues to build, fueled by tantalizing hints at its scope and scale. With the revelation that the film will delve into the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, one of the most enigmatic figures in biblical history, the intrigue only deepens. Mary Magdalene holds a unique place in the Christian narrative, revered as a witness to the life and death of Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Mary, though not included in the official Bible, offers a fascinating glimpse into her relationship with Jesus and the special knowledge he bestowed upon her. Written in the second century AD, this Gospel was highly valued among early Christian communities suggesting Mary's prominence among the disciples. The popularity of the Gospel of Mary surged in recent decades, partly due to Dan Brown's bestseller, The Da Vinci Code, which posited a romantic relationship between Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ. While the Roman Catholic Church may have sought to suppress such notions, the Gospel presents Mary as a disciple who shared a unique bond with Jesus, receiving teachings and visions that were not shared with the other disciples. However, 
The historical accuracy of the Gospel of Mary's portrayal of Mary Magdalene's relationship with Jesus remains a subject of debate. The New Testament offers no evidence to support claims of a romantic relationship between them. Instead, Mary is depicted as a faithful follower who witnessed key events in Jesus' life, including his crucifixion and resurrection. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the Gospel of Mary offers valuable insights into early Christian theology and cosmology. It describes Mary Magdalene's visions and conversations with Jesus, emphasizing the importance of knowledge and spiritual enlightenment. The Gospel presents a worldview where the soul's journey and the pursuit of divine wisdom are central themes. The Gospel of Mary also challenges traditional narratives about Mary Magdalene, portraying her as a figure of strength and wisdom rather than a repentant sinner. Through her interactions with Jesus and her own spiritual experiences, Mary emerges as a pivotal figure in the early Christian movement, capable of profound insights into the nature of existence and salvation. As the Passion of the Christ Resurrection embarks on this exploration of Mary Magdalene's role in the events surrounding Jesus' death and resurrection, audiences can expect a thought-provoking and immersive journey into the mysteries of faith and spirituality. The film's commitment to depicting the complexities of biblical characters like Mary Magdalene promises to spark discussions and deepen understanding of the rich tapestry of Christian tradition. The Passion of the Christ Resurrection promises to bring back Jim Caviezel in the iconic role of Jesus Christ, a role that earned him widespread recognition. Caviezel's portrayal of Jesus in the first film captivated audiences with its emotional depth and authenticity. Since then, Caviezel has continued to showcase his acting prowess in various projects, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. Joining Caviezel are several returning cast members from the original film. Maya Morgenstern is set to reprise her role as Mary, the mother of Jesus, bringing her compassionate portrayal back to the screen. Francesco DeVito will once again portray Peter, one of Jesus' closest disciples, capturing the character's loyalty and humanity. Additionally, Christo Gikov is rumored to return as John, another prominent disciple of Jesus whose gospel forms a significant part of the biblical narrative. While the exact cast lineup is still being finalized, fans are eager to see if Monica Bellucci and Rosalinda Celentano will reprise their roles as Mary Magdalene and Satan, respectively. Their performances added depth and complexity to the first film, and their potential return would undoubtedly enhance the sequel. As for the story, The Passion of the Christ Resurrection takes a logical approach by focusing on the events following Jesus' crucifixion. Rather than solely depicting his resurrection, the film is rumored to explore the three days between his death and resurrection, a period shrouded in mystery and significance in Christian theology. This decision allows for a deeper exploration of themes such as redemption, sacrifice, and the nature of faith. Drawing inspiration from Catholic visionaries like Mary of Jesus of Agrida and Anne Catherine Emmerich, the film may delve into the concept of the harrowing of hell. This idea, although not explicitly mentioned in the Bible, holds theological significance for many Christians, symbolizing Jesus' triumph over death and evil. However, its inclusion may spark debate among audiences, particularly among evangelical Christians. Overall, The Passion of the Christ Resurrection promises to be a thought-provoking and emotionally resonant continuation of the biblical epic. With a talented cast and a compelling story, the film is poised to captivate audiences once again while igniting discussions about faith, spirituality, and the enduring power of the Easter story. All right, folks, that's all for today's update, but fear not, we'll be back with plenty more exciting news about The Passion of the Christ too. So make sure to stay tuned for all the juicy details. Thanks a bunch for tuning in, and until next time, take care. Oh, <laughs>